Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. All right, the next one is uh, Bleeding Hearts uh, for Sojourner of Thaldrazeus. Uh, you're going to find, what's his name? Uh, Zareth. Call him Zareth. Uh, just east or west of uh, the Gaelic here at Post. He's up here. He's got his own little hut, house stuff. This one's a, supposedly a pretty short one, so. Zareth narrows his eyes. I do not take visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Every life counts. Making potions for Gaelic here means that I don't have time for many of my other duties. Duck landed in my garden with a broken rib. I've tended to the wound, but her dressing needs replacing, and since you're so eager to help, Zareth shoves a list of ingredients into your hand. This is what you'll need. Bring the rest to me. Collect ingredients to replace little jet streams just dressings. No. Curiosity's price. Look across the ravine, dwarf. Primalists attacked Gaelic here post days ago, and the battle still rages. Those people need salves and stitching. I can make it for them, but my ingredients are running low. Since you've chosen to intrude upon my home, consider yourself volunteered. Go to my garden and find the largest vine you can, snap it from the root, and then bring it to me. Well, he seems nice. A dick, but nice. Magnificent flower. Oh, the bees do not like it if you take their, if you touch their flowers, apparently. Sorry, bees. Uh, I'm very pro bee in real life, but, uh, you know, how do I know that these digital bees didn't have it coming? All right, let's go pull a vine. It's a big boy. Can't attack that. The sure as shit can. No conches. All right, little jet stream, I got you. Every life counts well. Zareth takes the extra pollen and linens, then looks towards their hut. Ducks have to contend with harpies further up the cliffside and the wounded land here, and I aid them how I can. I hope this one will make it. Aw. Be quick. A fresh ingredient is a potent ingredient. The lasher attacked you? Zareth frowns, sniffing at your clothes. Their snout wrinkles in disgust. No wonder you reek of blood. And not yours, I assume. War truly engulfs the isle. Bleeding hearts. The potions are ready. Now to deliver them. Take one crate to a small cave in the ravine below us. No one will be there to accept it, but you can trust it will be used well. Take another crate to the infirmary in Gelicure Post. An old friend tends to the patients there. I realize this is not your duty, nor is it really mine, but you've been surprisingly helpful and this medicine could save lives.
No. Curious about that cave. And in scroll, huh? X. Oh, man, I can't read that. Oh, right there. No. Zareth wants to heal everyone, no matter the consequences. Rebels, scale sworn, wildlife, each deserve equal care. While I might find Zareth's idealism galling, Gelek here depends on their expertise, so may my thanks to Zareth and you as well. These potions will be invaluable. Really? Because they still have the debuff dying. So what happens if I visit him again? Aethix appreciated the supplies then. There was smiles softly. Perhaps now he would be less of a thorn in my flank. I suppose this was inevitable. No, I am not a rebel. I may believe in what they stand for. I may even help them on occasion through intermediaries such as yourself, but I am not one of them. The difference? There are sneers. The difference is that I am a coward. I enjoy my creature comforts. This home, this garden, I will not forsake them for some short-lived rebellion, no matter how just. And people of Gelek here still need my help, so I serve them. Well, at least he's honest. Now that your curiosity is satisfied, there anything else? Well, yeah, I just, I just wanted to know. 